To set up SSO with your BlueWorks Live account, you will start by creating a ticket with the support team. This can be done through our support portal by clicking Create a Ticket. The team will direct you to an article on how to start setting up SSO and then carbon copy the IBM ID Federation team to get the process started. The first step of this process is for our support team to create a test account and give you the credentials to log in. Your task is to go in and enable IBM ID by navigating to Admin, Security, IBM ID, Enable IBM ID. Now let's sign in, continue, continue again, and log in. From here we can navigate to Admin, go to Security, IBM ID, and then Enable IBM ID. Here you can choose to notify certain people. Here I've chosen to notify the admins only. So now I can enable and send the emails. The first box here is titled Email Domains to Authenticate with IBM ID. This gives you the option to make a certain email domain go through IBM ID in order to log into this BlueWorks Live account. The session duration will determine the length that that person can be in their BlueWorks Live account ranging from 60 to 720 minutes. The just-in-time provisioning will allow certain people to be added to the account as just viewers. At any time, if you do not want IBM ID to be enabled for your BlueWorks Live account, you can go through the same navigation and then click Disable IBM ID. This will give you the same prompt of notifying certain people, and then you can click Disable and send emails. The next step in this process is for the IBM ID Federation team to reach out to you. They will give you information on how to set up the metadata trust between your company and IBM. The email that they send to you will look very similar to this one here. The third step for the process is to test your pre-production account and make sure that it is properly set up with SSO. You can navigate to the link here and the IBM ID Federation team should also be giving you this information. The page will look like this one if your login works successfully. In the top section, you can see that you will log in using your IBM ID credentials. This will then re-navigate you to your company's login page, indicated by your company's logo being displayed. Once logged in, you will have access to your pre-production account through SSO. Finally, the metadata has been certified with IBM and now SSO can be enabled on your production account. Very similar steps will be followed to set up your production account. The IBM ID Federation team will be helping you to finish the process. For help, please reach out to the IBM ID Federation team. We are always happy to help. Thank you for watching. I hope that your SSO setup goes as smoothly as possible.